Let's get to our picks for the week. We're starting with the prince that was promised, Trevor Lawrence, and the Jacksonville Jaguars laying seven against the Houston Texans. I don't re- typically believe in Jacksonville at home. Yeah, Le- yeah. That's why the- that's why we like it. It's a good catch by you. You as uh, Jacksonville right now has been a top ten defense and a top ten offense. Jacksonville should be three and one, not because they should have won the Philly game, but they should have won week one. They have also shown an ability to blow people out. They blew out the Chargers and they blew out the Colts. I like what they're doing on both sides of the ball. Houston is the only winless team. Houston is just going to try to run the ball, run the ball. Davis Mills has, you know, uh, reversed back to the or regressed pardon me back to the mean as far as turnovers i expect this to be a game that jacksonville jumps out early like they did against philadelphia okay does not make the same mistakes they made against philadelphia trevor's not gonna have five turnovers he's not gonna have the most fumbles of any player lost fumbles of any player in the last 20 plus years as long as it's not raining well you know that's a good point let's check the old weather forecast this is also one of the issues potentially with betting these games on a Thursday, you're not going to get the most precise weather forecast, but this game is in Jacksonville, Florida. It's certainly not going to be the torrential downpour that we had to deal with. And guess what? On Sunday, sunny, high of 83, low of 64, no chance of precipitation. Okay, That's a recipe for Jacksonville blowing out the Houston Texans. We will lay the seven points. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.